the Drake Ironclad just got released for its concept sale. It is Drake Day and we're getting straight into this. Before we get started, I'd like y'all to know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Mariah Pulse. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of June. Let's get into this video. Okay, so the Drake Ironclad has finally been released and uh, we're gonna go through uh, all the information that CIG has on it right now um and then in the game we'll go into the uh drake con just to see if we can actually see the hollow view if it's it is if it is in the hollow view um table it says where egos there meet the drake ironclad run the skies with drake's juggernauts of free enterprise the mighty ironclad and an armored freighter that takes the risk involved in deep space traversal and transport seriously it stands as a beacon for intrepid independent pioneers across the galaxy. That's what I assumed uh, it will be um, as, a, as an armored transporter uh, for long uh, traversal. So it's going to be essentially a home away from home. It's going to be a mobile base essentially. So let's look at the... Let's look at the, can, oh, I can't, can't expand it. So let's look at some of these images here. Oh uh, man, that's, that's pretty cool. I like this. I like the fact that you can even walk uh, on, on the platforms here on top of it. That's really cool. Seems like they, these are tractor beams and it seems like this is like a, a rail system for the tractor beam. So does that roll in and out or is this, does it fully open? Because this seems like, is it is this like static? I hope it's not. I hope the entire thing opens up so you have space to put boxes. But it looks like a second tractor beam right here. So you can easily uh, pick up and move and organize um, your cargo. So that's pretty cool. So, all right. So this image we've seen through um, the Inside Star Citizen and this image. So this this uh, escape pod here, this is the command port, the command um Get the, the full name of it but this is the command module here that can detach from it similar to the drake uh, caterpillar ironclad's interior is comprised of a vast cargo hold capable of accommodating 1532 seu i, I thought it was between 1500 to 2000 i knew it of cargo heavy armored secure storage rooms and state-of-the-art insulated Insulation keeps your most prized assets safe from the countless hazards of space while a retractable roof provides easy access for snappy loading and unloading. So that, that's going to essentially make this ship unique because it's going to be easy to grab things in space. Also, in the future with cargo um, transport, there, there are going to be different materials that require different um, uh, level of care so certain things are going to be temperature um, going to require certain temperatures certain things are going to require um, are going to have certain levels of volatility um, so some some of them you may not be able to you won't be able to uh, use your Q drive certain things will not um, are going to be very um, sensitive to heat and things like that so um, having it insulated within the cargo bay is 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 going to set it apart from things like the hall C, um, which everything's exposed on the outside. So this is going to have its own unique uh, position in in the realm of cargo transport. Okay. So the next one here says loadout. It says the ironclad takes the risk inherent to deep space traversal very seriously, to the tune of quad missile launchers okay and six turrets also oh, missile launchers and six turrets that's crazy um four remotely controlled and two manually controlled that's pretty cool uh loaded and unloading are easily handled by a trio of independent operating tractor beams wow so three tractor beams man this is a base man this this is pretty sick this thing is a base cut loose so when things get uh heavy and your 
uh, best course of action is to cut your losses. The Ironclad got your back thanks to its detachable command module. Uh, discerning operators can dump their payload and make a hasty exit with ease and should should the need arise so in the future it's going to be very important to secure the life of your character and it's probably going to be more important than the cargo load that you have so you'll need to use escape pods and command modules like this hopefully um in the future they um cig tell gives us reasons why we should save our character as opposed to trying to save our cargo. okay so uh, that's going to be another topic for another day all right, so it says, welcome aboard the Ironclad. It says, select one of these. Uh, so, so, okay, so I got interior next here. So the interior, okay. So turrets, one size five manual with uh, one size three manual and two size three remotes. So this thing has a size five turret, manual turret, and a one size three manual turret in three size Three remotes. That's pretty good. Has a cargo ramp for ground loading. That's pretty cool. Tractor beams. Three size two tractor beams. Nice. Cargo access retractable armored roof. That's nice. Armored. I like the fact that it's armored. When we get armor in the game, then we'll see the value of the ship. This thing is going to be a tank you know and in comparison to other uh cargo ships it's going this is this has its own niche where you need to protect the cargo if you have cargo that has volatile materials you bring something like this to protect it um so that's that's pretty cool i like this command module detachable command modules with one time with one x uh, size two remote turrets oh so the command module itself has a remote turret that's 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 huge as opposed to a uh, an escape pod where most uh, ships have, right? Drake is the only one that gives you a command module that can detach from the ship. That's pretty cool, man. That's nice. All right, so they have different skins here. So the Drake Iron Class, so that's the default skin. Uh, let's see. Okay, I like this one. I like this one, the Dauntless. So they have the standard and they have the darkness. Okay. So those are the two skins that they oh, this is really nice. I really like this one. Alright, so it says full frontal, meet the ironclad assault. Okay, so this is the assault variant. Um, so it says the ultimate combined arm platform, the ironclad assault effortlessly carry heavy vehicles and squads of infantry with the daunting auxiliary um turrets providing. Uh, direct uh, support and a full service garage capable of refueling rearming uh, which adds so much value to the ship and even for uh, fabricating new components for ground vehicles fabrication this yo they're adding crafting into this thing this thing is going to have crafting modules that will allow you to create other things this is literally going to be a base this is literally a base all right, um, even uh, fabricating new components for ground vehicles and have a truly self-sufficient beast capable of meeting anything or anybody standing in it in your way. That's huge. That's why this is this 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 ship has so much value because it's it's literally a mobile base. It allows you to do so much. Like I said in one of my previous videos, the Ironclad is going to allow you to store other vehicles that will enable it to do other things like a prospector or a vulture and then it will also have room to also have uh, a pisces for medical services um, also you can probably put like small light fighters like maybe the furies or ebid uh something as a couple of um arrows in there with the folded wings this thing can do so much um this is why this this is this is a great daily driver man this is awesome this is awesome so it says it says shoot them up the assault model comes with three quad turrets to provide lethal air support and clear landing zones as well as additional remote operated 
size three turret four and offensive edge this thing is a beast this thing is a beast i love the look of this ship because it 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 also has a military feel to it even the irregular one has a military feel to it man i cannot wait to see armor in the game because this thing adds so much value an armored base that's what this thing is all right so it says uh they have the interior next to it. i actually didn't even check out the interior for this so let's quickly look at the interior yeah we, we even missed we missed this so this thing has a break additional storage with extra security nice okay okay uh cargo deck of 1532 seu of secured storage so 1500 seu of secured storage guys that that's that's value right there all right interior turret it has an interior size two remote turret so if you're getting raided you can oh my goodness this ship is so sick man cig is adding so much value in this thing this is this is literally a base control room total access and a cockpit to take control this is the uh control module this ship is actually pretty sick this ship is actually pretty sick all right so now let's look let's look so the exterior says turrets uh one size five quad man two size uh three so it's essentially the same a uh, two size three remote and one size three manned okay 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 fortified ramp so the the ramp itself is armored as well uh which sets it apart from the the base of ironclad plus the the uh command module detachable command module with one time size two remote turrets that is huge that is huge all right so the standard is a yellow dauntless skin as well goes with it as well that is huge all right so technical specs did we miss the, the technical specs for this one as well yeah we did i assume it's going to be the same so 120 meters in length and 52 meters in width and 20 meters width. height 150 uh, 1536 su and uh, main thrusters is 10 and then it has a detachable uh, module this one uh, 120, 52, 20, essentially the same thing. This one has less cargo though. So 1152 SCU of cargo, but it's still, it's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. All right. It's still pretty good. I like it. I like it. I like it. It says, go where eagles dare meet the iron clad. Man, this is so good. All right, so these are the prices. Whoa, 400. This is this is less than what I expected. I thought it was going to be around 500 going to, to 700. Considering this is actually a base, a mobile base that allows you to do so many different things, right? So you're looking at Warbond 400, uh, 465 for uh, store credit. And uh, they also have... Uh, Evictus, Evictus launch week uh, packages as well. All uh, right. Yeah, same. Same here as well. Yeah, so when this thing... So this is the, the prices for the concepts. Um, but as it gets closer to release, it's going to go up in price for sure, man. Um, so with 4.0 ongoing, it's going to be very important to have a ship that you can use as a base. And this is going to be one of the contenders for that. Right, the Odyssey is one, but this one is probably better than the Odyssey, simply due to the fact that it has a, a, a massive cargo, um, cargo space that allows you to do so many different things with different smaller ships. You know, so they also have some packages here. Um, so this one I assume gives you both for uh, eight thirty-five uh, and then nine twenty-five for what is this? Why is this one 925 and the other one? Uh, it's all for store credit, right? Okay, so this war bond and it's a store credit. Okay, that makes sense. 
but yeah so you guys let me know your thoughts on this down below let me know are you going to get the drake ironclad let me know down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one take care guys